for such a useful features animations are like very hidden within roblox like it's kind of weird right so go to avatar um and the first thing you need to do is actually have a rig to test animations on right so i'll say rig builder and then just like a, a mesh avatar 2016 there we go right so this is going to be our like dummy this is what we're going to be testing on okay and what you do is you click, you select the dummy and you click animation editor, right? Like so. It's going to prompt you to make, give it a name. So name it something like test, anim, you know, name it, whatever. And just before I tell you how to actually animate, I'll tell you two things. If this animation is meant to be looping, looping, right? So for example, um, like a walking animation, you know, just click, click this, right? Or if it's meant to be just like a one-time thing, then, you know, don't check this. And go to these three dots and set animation priority. Basically, the lower this list goes, the more priority the animation will have. So if this animation is set to action four, it's going to be, it's going to like override all of the other animations that might be happening at the same time. So I'll set this to action four, just so we know that like, okay, it has full like overrides, right? Just in case it doesn't work. Um, and then, yeah, so all you do is you just, you know, make sure this line is at the start. You select whichever part you want to move of the you know, your rig. So let's say for me, it's going to be the torso, right? Um, oh, there we go. And yeah, I can just move it like so. There we go. Yeah, so just move it a bit back and then back to place. And once you modify it like that, it's going to save it as a keyframe, right? And what a keyframe is, is it just saves the position of whatever, like, like you know, object you just modified. And then if I, for example, have another keyframe at the end where I move it up, then what's going to happen is that if I play the animation now, it's going to smoothly go from this keyframe to this keyframe, or in other words, from that, from the starting position to the final position, right? And you can use this with basically, again, anything. It doesn't have to be the torso. And to delete, just select these and just say delete, right? Just right-click on the keyframe, say delete. Um, and to rotate, just hit R on your keyboard, and then that's going to let you rotate it like so, right? Or I can just... I'll just disable these so I have full rotation. Yeah, so you can literally just like, you know, have ro have have the have these rotations, right? Um, so for example, something something I could do, which would be quite fun, is make the make 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 him like just be flung, you know, like you know, do this. Um, or I, I don't know actually. What I could do is I could just say, let's see. Okay, yeah. So I'm I'm gonna add all body over here. Then I think actually no wait. Uh, let me just undo that. Okay, okay. Yeah, and as you can see, once I you know rotated it, then it just kind of goes like this. So that's pretty cool, right? Um, another thing I want to do is also I want to rotate this. Actually, no, this is the humanoid root part. So the humanoid root part will rotate like literally the entire player character, right? Although maybe, maybe that's what you want, right? So I don't know. And I can just have the torso go like this. So let's see. Whoop. <laughs> and then I can have the arms just like, whoop. Whoop. See, he's like falling. He's flying. Yeah, so you have, you have this and then just whoop. Boom. And also, don't forget that you can actually, you're, you are able to, like, move it as well, right? So if I just hit R again, I'm able to actually, like, move him, right? Like so. So from here, he, like, gets flung, right? He gets flung, like so. And then maybe halfway through, I can actually make, make it go up. So he gets, like, pushed back, and then he just, like, gets, like, blown over here, like so. Boom right so some something something like that right <laughs> i mean <laughs> look 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 at him go right what a what a, what a, what a, what a sight to see you know what i mean um now you may also be complaining that hey this this is like a little too snappy right like he goes up but then he just instantly goes down like it's not smooth right this is where you can use something called an easing style um, and I believe the way you do this is, let's see, 
which, okay, to be honest, I'm not too sure how to use this, right? How this linear interpolation, but it is there as an option, right? So if you want smoother animation, you could use this, which I'm clicking everywhere right now. It's not doing anything. So I'm not too sure what I should be doing. Um, and another, another thing that you should also know is that there's something called animation events, right? So whenever like you hit on, you know, like a specific keyframe, um, the animation can fire an event that you can like use in scripts, right? So if I say like add animation event here, then you can just give the animation events a name, like, like, I don't know, falling down, right? Because from this point, he's going to fall down. And then the parameter, um, I don't even know what the parameter, parameter is. I think it's like the name of it falling, I guess. I don't know falling down and now you have this event name. Okay. So I actually just looked this up and I was basically right. Right. So, oh, wait, <laughs> zoomed in for a bit. So how it works, right. Is that when you create your event, right. Um, so you, you name it, like, you know, you give it a name and the parameter is just going to be a string, right. And this is optional. So you don't need this. So what, what it's going to do is then you can say like, you know, animation colon get marker reach signal. And then in here you put the name of the event. And then once that event, like, you know, once that keyframe is actually played, then the, this is going to fire, this function is going to fire. And then if you put any, any like string in this parameter section, then it's going to give you this string, right? So like if you, yeah, if you need a string, you can put it here, but you don't need it. Right. So, so this is basically just for, for, for you to know inside of scripts when your animation has like hit a certain point. Right. Um, and so that, yeah, that's basically animations to save it, you know, go here and click, um, publish to Roblox, um, title, I get, name it, whatever you want, right? It doesn't matter. Creator me. Yeah. Submit like so. And then what you do is you copy this ID copied close. So you can, you can close this. Now we can delete this, um, delete this animation, save, delete this rig, right? And then you just create an animation, right? And then inside the animation, you can put the animation ID that we just copied, like so. There we go. So now you have your animation ID, right? And so what I'll do is I'll actually copy this animation and then I'm gonna play the game, right? Um, there we go, yeah. And so if we check our character, right? We can actually see how the animations work, right? So I believe, um, I'm not so sure where to actually keep the animations. I think somewhere, somewhere here. Let me, let me just check. Probably an, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we have these animations. So for example, if, if I find a, the idle animation, or I guess the jump animation. Yeah. Okay. You know what we can do? We can copy the asset ID over here. Right. And then if I replace this with the the jump animation with our asset ID. There we go. So as you can see, when we're jumping, it plays our animation. But then like when we fall, it plays the um their animation, which we can also fix, right? So there we go, like so. There we go. So <laughs> this is, we've just successfully created an animation. There we go. That is, that is wonderful. And to actually play an animation, I think you just need, like you, you need the animation, right? And this script is confusing. Um, so this wasn't really meant to be a scripting video. This was just more for like showing you, you know, animations. Um, yeah, this is insanely confusing. What, what the hell were they doing? <laughs> um, but the, the way that I kind of understand it is that your character has this thing called an animation controller, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So this thing called the animator, right? And what you do with the animator is that you have your animation and you load the animation like via script. Like it, it's literally called like, like animator colon load. And then you load the animation inside the animator. And then from there you can play the animation. You can, um, stop it. You can just do whatever with it. Right. Um, yeah, but that's, that's, basically it. And if you ever lo lose your animation, um, all you do is you just go to the toolbox, inventory, my animations, 
Yeah, and then you should find your animation somewhere here, which, let's see. I don't even remember if I saved mine. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay, mine, mine is somewhere here. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know where mine is, right? But again, the point is, if you saved two Roblox, if you actually gave it a name, then it should appear here in the toolbox. And then, you know, whenever you need to, you all, you're always able to just right click, copy asset ID, and then just, you know, put it, put it over here. So for an example, I have this thing called crawl final. I don't even know what this is or boss one walk. Like, let's see, let's see. What was that? What was I doing? Was I, was I, was I cooking? with the animations was I was I cooking with the animations let's see vision lamp uh, humanoid uh, oh no it animates uh, run run anim let's see what was I doing sit swim swill idle tool oh walk it's probably walk you know it's probably walk Okay, well, my, I I feel I have a I have a feeling this animation might not be working <laughs> right now. But again, you get the general idea, right? That's what you do in animation. You you have a test rig just to see how the an animation actually works. Then you click animation editor. Then you know you um do your keyframes, save to Roblox, get the um idea of the animation, and then via script, you know, just inside like inside of it, like your player character, you load the animation inside the animator, right? And then you, from there, you can play the animation, you can stop the animation, pause the animation, do whatever you want with the animation, right? And we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.